Do you, Amanda, offer this ring as a sign of your loving marriage to happily hold him and have him as your husband and best friend? I do. Amanda and Rich, will you now both come and pick up the vials of sand representing the essence of all that you are, all that you possess, everything that makes you unique and wonderful in the eyes of your beloved. <laughs> Within a marriage, each person is both their own and each other's. Their personal integrity does not diminish by their union. In fact, it is enhanced. Their hopes and dreams remain their own, as individual as each grain of sand. Yet they have a new life ahead, with endless possibilities and new dreams that are theirs together. Amanda and Rich, please now blend your sand, your lives and your dreams. Ask you to pause for a moment. Sure. Stacy and Kayla. 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 <laughs> Kayla. Come, Come on, baby. Come on. You're both such an important part of Rich and Amanda's lives. So you've got to add your layer to all of it. Okay. Kayla, help Stacy. Help Stacy pour it. Help Stacy. Pour, pour some in here, baby. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. And now Joy Otterhey is going to read for us. Hey, Joy. <laughs> I'll be reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. If I speak in tongues of men and of angels that have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanking cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It is not rude. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be stilled. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when perfection comes, the imperfect disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child, and I reasoned like a child. When I grew up, I put childish ways behind me. Now I see but a poor reflection, as in a mirror, then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. Now these three things remain, faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love.
Thank you, Joy, for a wonderful reading. So, Amanda and Rich, it's not a piece of paper, a judge, this person, this sand, that's going to make your marriage real and valid, but rather the trust, honesty, faith and love that you so obviously share. And I'd like to leave you today with wise words from the Dalai Lama's instructions for life in the new millennium. Take into account that great love and great achievements involve great risk and that a loving atmosphere in your home is the foundation for your life. Be gentle with the earth, be gentle with one another. When disagreements come, remember always to protect the spirit of your union. And when you realize, when you've made, yeah, when you realize you've made a mistake, take immediate steps to correct it. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. So love yourselves, love one another, love all that is your life together, and all else will follow. So now on behalf of all present, and recognizing the trust that you've placed in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Married life is a beautiful journey. To be now with this. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm proud to be the first to introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Rich and Amanda Worthy. Ha, ha, ha. 